Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you uh, very special cards that I purchased recently. And some of the cards <clears throat> that I will be showing to you are Michael Jordan cards. Uh, I'm not really a collector of Jordan, but uh, recently I, uh, I decided to collect uh, some Michael Jordan cards. So without further ado, let's start. Uh, first off, I'll show you my uh, uh, the uh, non-Jordan cards. Sorry if you can't see that. There you go. So this one's number to 49. That's the uh, blue parallel. Anthony Davis. And then another blue parallel. Stargazing. I like the the type of parallel this one is. It's kind of psychedelic. I love this card. This one's number to 49 as well. And then followed by Kyrie. Uh, this one doesn't have a good looking paper or something anyway this one's numbered to uh, 50 so 40 of 50 here very nice looking card okay and then <clears throat> we have here a uh, Steve Francis autograph this one's numbered to 75. Stevie franchise. Reminds me of my uh, high school days. We're still playing. Okay, so moving on to some of the patches. First one I have here is a Brandon Roy. Bought this is a very cheap price. You can see the patch there. It's super small, but there is a little bit of stitching over there. Alright. And then to the uh, three times six months of the year. A very good ball handler. Jamal, so the Crawford there, and another one here, uh, a uh, Kevin Love, this is probably my third Kevin Love patch, not really a patch, you can call it just a garter, uh, this one's number to 25, uh, I was number 25 out of 25. Have here another bulls patch with a very nice looking patch Chandler Hutchison he, he had potential before I watched him play he's like a Scottie Pippen kind of guy but he never pan out not really sure if he's still in the league playing for for another team but I think I'm gonna keep this one. Because I like the uh, Bulls uniform. <clears throat> Alright. Moving on to. Oh, got this one. I almost forgot this card. This one is a diamond card. Bought this very cheap. Um, I wanna show how the. Uh, Diamond shines at this angle, you, you can see it. Uh, regardless, it's still a very beautiful card. This one came from Flawless, numbered uh, 14 out of 20. An autograph of uh, D'Angelo. I 
was numbered 8 out of 49. Actually, I, I stopped buying cars for more than a month. And then just recently, I started buying again. Uh, the reason for that is because I just got kind of tired. And a lot of the cars that I'm looking for weren't there. So I, uh, I rested for a month buying cards. And now, uh, since uh, some of my cousins are starting to collect cards, I got a little bit motivated to purchase new cards again. Or my nephews. This one is a patch. You can see that. one's number 17 out of 25 Middleton this one is really nice looking patch uh, this is DeMarcus cousins uh, Brittany Griner's boyfriend no I'm just joking don't take it personally 20 of 25 looking card okay and uh, I bought a few Bradley Beal patches here uh, first one is this studio you can barely see that because the foil on this card is red and the background is red as well so it's almost impossible to see it but that's there this one's number 28 of 30 thick card and then a national treasures the uh, patches here are just almost the same they are both garter cards but I have no choice because there are no other Bradley Beal patches around being sold so I'm gonna take this because he is a really good player I like the shine on this card as well. This one's 16 to 25. And then finally, I was able to find one. <clears throat> a Victor Oladipo. Pacers. I've been collecting Pacers. If you follow my channel, I've been buying Pacers cards. Uh, past and present. So now I can... Or I have now a... Uh, a trio of Sabonis, Turner, and Oladipo. I, I love these cards. Moving on to the best cards that I have here. Okay, let's start with the Pippin. This one is numbered 175 if I'm correct. Yes, that's 175. 56 of 175. This one is from Prism. <clears throat> I saw a red version of this one, but I was too late. Uh, someone already snagged it. This one here is a case hit. Uh, Prestige. Playmakers. This one's John Wall. I also bought this for cheap. Uh, very nice looking card. Also, this one I bought for cheap. This one's numbered to 10. That's a gold version. Uh, one's 8 out of 10. Uh, the uh, King Parallel. Out of uh, Excalibur. Tony Parker. Nice looking card here. Moving on to the best cards. I have and for the first one here it's gonna be a Jason Tatum not really that expensive but I love this parallel this one is called uh, mist parallel uh, Jason Tatum rookie card I have an autograph of him 
also another parallel I, I, I personally pulled it so I have to have this one and then this press proof a very beautiful card of Jason Tatum this one's numbered 60 you can see that there you go that is 60 out of 125 this one's the blue version the rookies nice looking girl there and then the Jordans this one is a really nice looking Jordan card in my opinion uh, full court trap <coughs> I, I wish I can bring back time wherein Michael Jordan cards are just cheap. This one I bought for $120, so for Philippine peso, that's 6,000 pesos. And from from what I've heard, uh, the, the price of this card back then wasn't really that expensive. But the thing that I liked about this card is that it has very sharp corners. And uh, there are no visible and um, chipping on the edge there, there are some just very tiny and I think the condition of this card is just very good not pristine but very very good mint I can say that this one is a mint card very nice looking card there we go and finally the best card that I own my most favorite i've been chasing this for quite a while now i've seen a few of these cards pop around uh every now and then but the condition sucks there's always a problem whenever i see this card uh being you know being sold or if someone's selling it it's there's always something that's uh that's a, a detractor of the card but this one that i found is just in I mean probably in immaculate condition corners are sharp and the surface isn't so bad I've checked it uh, believe me I did because I really want this card everything just checks out good for me this one's a very wonderful looking card I will never sell this I, I promise to never sell this card I think I will not sell this card because this is my most favorite Michael Jordan card ever that I own. There are still two Michael Jordan cards that I'm chasing. The one is the and the the intense or the intense, and then the scoring magnet. If I can find that at a good price with really good condition, I'll purchase it in a heartbeat. But this one here. I'm just very happy of owning this one card of oh, this card. B great photo and just great overall. I love this card. Okay, so that's that. That's all the cards that I purchased recently. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a pleasant day and till next time.